together again. Good morning, boys and girls. Do you remember the two lessons before this one? Yesterday and before yesterday. Now, before yesterday, you learned the three-dimensional shapes. And yesterday, you learned the faces, edges, and what? Vertices. Thank you so much. And before these two lessons, you learned the two-dimensional shapes that have only width and length. The squares, the rectangle, triangles, circles, hexagon, pentagon, and parallelogram, all these are shapes. Today, our lesson is about relating the shapes and solids how do we relate shapes and solids can you see the watermelon here in this plate okay this watermelon has a shape is it two-dimensional shape or three-dimensional shapes it is a three-dimensional shape but how can this watermelon be as a three-dimensional shape if we don't have two-dimensional shape so look I have here a square and a rectangle and here a rectangle and here I have square so these shapes connected together to make three-dimensional shape which is cubes some of the slices are cubes and some of them are rectangular prism so i have many shapes can connect together to make for me three-dimensional shape to make for me an object okay so we can connect shapes to create an object so we can connect two-dimensional shapes together to make three-dimensional shapes. Okay, guys? This is our lesson today, to relate them together. So, now I want you to trace one face of a cube. Then I want you to identify the shape. Then trace the other faces of the cube. And then describe the faces of a cube. You can all tell me now, what is the shape of each face in the cube? It is what? It is square. Do you remember how many squares did you use to make a cube? Yes, miss. We used six squares. Why six squares? We connect six squares together to make a cube. So we can have six flat surfaces. And we can call them now six faces of squares six faces of square so i can connect these six together to make cube got it these are all shapes two-dimensional shape if i use this one to draw it like here okay then i will use the other one just to put it just next to it okay this one and because this side is little bit hiding i'm gonna draw the dotted line this is the second the second shape so i used one and two now i will use the second one the third one sorry here so now i use the third one it's what it is here can you see it guys so i'm done with the third one now i can use this now look at it. I can put the fourth one and make it make the other face. Now I will take this one. It is hiding behind this. See, it is here. Okay, dotted line because I cannot see it. This is the other face here. It's hiding. And this face is the base down here. Okay, this is the last square I used it to make the base. So, how many faces did we use? We used six faces of the square to make cube. Got it? 
So six squares makes make cube. Make one cube. Got it? We're done from this page. Can you please move to the next page? 772. Now, please hold your pencil and let us read and solve together. Now, guys, with me, the faces of three-dimensional shapes are two-dimensional shapes, as we said before. We can use two-dimensional shapes before we use the squares to make the three-dimensional shapes to make a cube. So we use two to make the three-dimensional shapes. A cube has six equal faces. The faces are all squares. This is a very important hint, so I'm gonna put for you a small heart for it, on it, okay? Now, look at this cube. It has, as we said, one, the, the base two, three on the right side, four on the other side, the left one, and five in the front, and at the back we have six squares so all the faces are squares in the cube so which shape do we use to make a cube we use just squares one two three four five six all are squares okay now circle the faces that make the shape now you look you can look at the rectangular prism it has a rectangle so I can circle the rectangle now here at the at the top the top and the base the down one okay it's what it is square so for for pyramid for sorry for rectangular prism we use squares and rectangle rectangular so I use rectangle for sure, and the bases are squares, okay? Now, let us look at the second shape. The second three-dimensional shape is cylinder. The cylinder, we said that it has two faces. What are these two faces? They are circles, and we have one curved surface. Now, what did we use to make this cylinder? It's all curved from here, okay? This is the part that is curved. And up, it's just circles. So, which face do we use? We will use only the circles. Two sides are circles. Circle up, circle down to make the base. And then we put a tube between them to make cylinder. Now, look at this one. This is a square pyramid this square pyramid because we have a square base the square is the base okay here is the square okay and then it has four faces all are triangles so the base is a square so sure I'm gonna use the square then the four sides or the four faces are all flat surfaces. So we say it is faces, triangle faces. Okay. So now I circled the two-dimensional shape that I can use to make the three-dimensional shape. We're done from page 772. It was really amazing page. Now let's go to the third page. It is 773. I want you please guys to read the question very well. The first question, circle the faces that make the shape. It's the, it's the same as we, as we did together before. And circle the shape made by the faces. Now look, it's the opposite. You can look at the shapes and circle the shape that we use the spaces for okay then the last question 
which of these shapes does not again does not does not have a square as one of its faces this is a rectangular prism cube cylinder and the square pyramid okay so look carefully which one i did not use the square thank you so much go to the last page 774 let's solve the last question together which is a question nine guys you will solve question 10 alone okay now together i have me i have six equal faces wow six equal it's immediately it's a very very trick word it's not a trick actually it's like a key word for the answer i can know from word six equal faces i have eight vertices what shape am i six equal faces that means all the faces are the same equal faces that means i don't have a face which is longer or shorter than the other face they are all the same they are all equal what is this face what is this shape yes yes excellent it is a cube so it is cube because all the six faces are what? One. Sorry. One, two, three, four, and the last one, five. And six together. Right? Right? Now, guys, I want you a little bit to focus again. I will draw it better for you. See. Here is one. Okay, and here two faces, okay, and the base three, and the top one is four, and in the front, I will use another color to draw for you the front one, and the one that at the back, this is five, and the other one back, at the back, it is six. Got it, guys? So six equal faces you can solve the question number 10 alone it's really so easy i have no faces and no vertices which one has no faces and no vertices at all be careful you can know it you're super smart and i'm really i'm so happy i'm really so happy for listening to me thank you so much see you later